Hello guys, welcome back to Easy One Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Easy One Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this simply supported beam. This is a simply supported beam of total length of 10 meter and there is a load, uniformly distributed load acting at one end of the beam with a magnitude of 2 kN per meter over the distance of 3 meter from the lift end or from the hinge support. The other load is a magnitude of 4 kN per meter and it is also distributed over the distance of 3 meter and this load is acting at the other end of the beam. So to find out the support reactions, let's consider this is support A and this is support B. So and these support will resist this load in the upper direction. So let's suppose that these forces are acting in the upper direction. This is RA and this is RB. To, to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram, first we need to find out these forces. So, to find out these forces, we will take help from this equilibrium equation, the summation of moment at any point equal to zero, or the summation of vertical forces equal to zero, or summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. We cannot use this equation because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. And there is two unknown so we can also not use this equation in this beam because when we have only one unknown then we can use this equation this equilibrium equation to find out only one unknown here we have both unknown so we cannot use this equation so we can only take help from this equation because we have two unknown so in case of the two unknowns we can use this equation now let's suppose that summation of moment at point b equal to zero so the ra force will create moment about point b so the clockwise moment that considered is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative this is just our sign convention so ra will create moment in this way about point b so it will create moment in the clockwise direction about b and the clockwise is positive so moment is equal to the force into momentum so moment at point B, so RA is the force multiplied with the momentum. The momentum is the distance from this force up to point B because we want to find out the moment at point B, about point B. So the distance from this point up to this point is this 10 meter. Now there is a load, uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter acting in the downward direction. So when we convert this into pointed load, so we will multiply so it will be negative because it is acting downward and if it is acting in downward direction so it will create anti-clockwise moment about point B anti-clockwise direction and anti-clockwise is taken as negative that's why I use negative sign here so minus 2 2 is the load multiplied with the distance on which it is distributed it is distributed over the distance of 3 meter so it is multiplied with 3 so this is the force multiply with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this end up to this point B. So this will be the half of 3. It will be 1.5 meter and then adding with 4 and then with 3. So the total will be 8.5 from this point up to this B point. This load will act at the center of the this uniformly distributed load. That's why we take the half of 3. So it is 8.5. Now this is a again uniformly distributed load and this load will act also at the center of this load so and this will act in the anti-clockwise direction about point B so it will also create the negative moment because anti-clockwise is taken as negative. Minus 4 is the load multiplying with 3 is the distance on which it is distributed so this is the force multiplying it with the moment arm the moment arm will be the half of 3 which is 1.5 meter. So summation of all the moments about point B is equal to 0. Now 10 RA, if we shift these values into the right side, so we got 51, we got plus 51 because it will become positive if we shift these values into the right side and plus 18. By multiplying we got 51 and 18 and then Again by solving we got 69 and then dividing by 10. So 69 divided by 10 
we got 6.9 kN. So our a reaction is 6.9 kN here. 6.9 kN. Now how to find out the reaction Rb is we have only one unknown Rb. So now we can take help from this equation. Summation of vertical force is equal to zero. When we have only one unknown, then we can use this equation. Now let's consider that the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now the upward forces are Ra and Rb. These are acting in the upward direction. So Ra and Rb are taken as positive while the downward forces are taken as negative. And these 2 kN per meter and 4 kN per meter are acting in the downward direction. So it will be minus 2 multiplied with 3 because it is distributed over the distance of 3 meter. And also minus 4 is the load divided multiplying with the 3 because it is also distributed over the distance of 3 meter. Summation of all the vertical forces is equal to 0. So R A or we can say R B is equal to 6 plus 12 minus R B. And sorry R A. And R B comes out to be 18 minus R A we know that 6.9. So Rb comes out to be 11.1 kN. 11.1 kN. So this is the Rb reaction acting in the upper direction. Now we found out the support reactions. Now we can draw the shear force in bending moment diagram. So let's consider these are the reference lines. These are the reference line for the shear force in bending moment. This is for the shear force and let's consider this is for the bending moment. Shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton and this is let's suppose for the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter. Now these are the reference lines so these are will be 0 0 value because these are the reference lines. So we assume that it is 0, 0 at the base. This is also 0, 0 at the baseline. Now to start with the shear force diagram, we will look into the reaction into the loads coming on the beam. This R A reaction acting in the upper direction is 6.9. So we will move this from 0 up to the 6.9. Up to the 6.9. Kilonewton. So this is the shear force value. Now there is a load of 2 kN per meter acting in the downward direction. So, so now 6.9 is acting in upward direction. So it is positive 6.9. Then there, there is a load acting in downward direction which is 2 kN per meter. So it will be minus 2 multiplied with 3 because it is distributed over the distance of 3 meter. So by adding these we got 6.9 minus 2 into 3, 6. So we got plus 0.9. So it means this will bring the shear force in, up, in downward direction up to 0.9. This will be 0.9. And it is positive. So that's why I didn't bring this shear force line in the downward direction in the negative. But it is plus. So that's why I kept it in the positive direction above the reference line. So this is plus 0.9 and then there is no load acting on this beam. So it will be a straight line. And then there is again distributed load acting in the downward direction. So plus 0.9 was before and then minus this downward load which is 4 multiplied with the distributed length 3 meter. So by, by multiplying and adding this we got minus 11.1. So minus 0.1, so now it means that it will be below the 0, 0 line because it is negative. So here, let's suppose this is minus 11.1. So I will simply bring this line like in this way. So this is the shear force diagram for this beam. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, I will take help from this shear boxes. This is the shear box 1, this is the second shear box, and this small is the third shear box. Can see here this is the third shear box and this is the fourth shear box 
So this is positive, this is positive, this is also positive, and this is negative shear boxes. So with the help of these shear boxes, I will find out and draw the bending moment diagram. Now, it should be kept in mind that the area of the shear boxes will be the bending moment diagram value. Now, if you look to this shear box, it is acting in the upward, and then it is also this acting in upward, and there is a base there. So it looks like a trapezoid, this shear box looks like a trapezoid, two vertical lines and one, two the, two parallel lines and two unparallel lines. So this is a trapezoid. So this will be the A1 box. I want to find out the area of this box which is a trapezoid. To find out the area of trapezoid, it is equal to the half and to height H1 plus H2 multiplied with the base. So I know that half H1 is 6.9 plus h2 is 0.9 multiplying with base base is this distance which is 3 meter we know this 3 meter this 4 meter and this 3 meter so this is 3 meter this is 3 meter this is 4 meter and this distance is also 3 meter so the base is 3 meter now by multiplying this value I got 11.7 area so the area of this box is 11.7 so this is a positive shear box, it is plus, so I will bring this moment from there up to here, which is 11.7. So this is the bending moment value from this shear box. Now there is another little shear box of rectangle type. If you look to the shape of this shear box, it is a rectangle. So the area A2 will be 0.9 is the height and 4 meter is the base. It is a rectangle, so length into height. So by multiplying this, I got 3.6. It is again positive because it is acting in upward direction. So I will add this 3.6 with the 11.7. 11.7 was before. I will add this with 3.6. So I got 15.3. This is positive. So 15.3 will be acting here. So it will be a linear line. 15.3 kilonewton meter now it should be kept in mind now that this small shear box is acting upward and this other triangle is acting downward so we should know we know that this box height is 0.9 here similar is it it was here but we don't know this base value that what is the base this x is unknown to us so we have to find this base how to find this x we know that point 0.9 is acting in upward direction and minus this shear is due to this load acting in downward direction. So minus 4 is the load multiplied with x that makes the shear for 0. So this is the equation in order to find the x value. Point 0.9 is the load acting here and 4 is the load acting in downward direction and x is the distance where it makes a shear force equal to 0. Now 0.9 will be equal to 4x and x will be equal to 0.9 divided by 4. So we got 0.225 meter. So this distance is 0.225 meter. And this whole distance is 3 meter. So if I subtract 3 from 0.225, I got 2 something 2.775 so this distance will become 2.775 so we found out this x for both the values for both the triangle now with the small shear box is a triangle this is a triangle so we can find the area of this third box small box half into base into height because it is a triangle so half base we know that it is 0.225 multiplying with height, height was 0.9. So finding out the area of this box, it comes out to be 0.101. It is acting in positive direction because it is upward box, so it is plus 0.101. Now by adding this with 15.3, so 15.3 plus 0.101, we got 15.4 something. So this is the bending moment acting, this is the bending moment value acting at this point here 15.4 
Now we will find the area of this box triangle. So it will be A4 and it will be equal to the half base into height. So base is 2.775. Multiplying with height, height is 11.1. .1. But this box is negative, so it will be minus. So by multiplying all these values, we got minus 15.4. So now minus 15.4 and this is plus 15.4. So by adding this minus 15.4 with plus 15.4, we got zero. So I will bring this simply here, like in this way, up to zero. So we have zero bending moment at this hinge up at this roller support. So this is the way how to draw the bending moment diagram. You should understand the shear forces and then from the shear boxes, you should find out the area of the shear boxes and you will add these values if they are in positive direction or if they are in negative direction then you should subtract from the bending moment previous value. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.